Hi, my name is Mary Hake. I work at Cape Cod National Seashore. I'm the resource management specialist here, and I oversee the shorebird management and protection program. Today we're out in Hatches Harbor, which is in the North District in the park, and in the distance you can see some staging and migrating terns, both common terns and roseate terns. Both of these species of birds are protected both state and federally. Uh, the roseate tern is a federally endangered species. Now these guys uh, come to the seashore during the fall, but actually the migration starts as early as mid-July and lasts through September. These areas of mud flats and uh, upper beach are so important to these birds during the migration as an area for them to rest and feed. And it's not only to feed themselves, but they stay with their young and they feed their young, teach them how to fish, and it's so important to have that parental bond between these young birds and the adults. Cape Cod National Seashore. During the summer months, we have nesting shorebirds, the piping plovers and least terns, where we spend a great deal of time monitoring their nesting behaviors, how many pairs there are, how many eggs are laid, how many chicks fledge. But it's after that time that we really are realizing we need to spend more time understanding the rest of their life cycle, their migration and their overwintering. Birds migrate mainly because they can't make a living year round where they are. Many birds migrate for many thousands of miles. The terns here migrate over 4,000 miles, most of them to South America. So it's a very long distance migration. It's estimated that over 75% of the North American breeding population of roseate terns comes here to Cape Cod National Seashore during migration. So it makes it an extremely important concentrated area for these birds and a great responsibility for the National Park Service to provide this critical habitat for them during this migration and during this time where the roseate terns provide that important parental care to their young. Populations of roseate terns are declining and scientists aren't exactly sure why. They know that the breeding populations, um, they breed in Massachusetts and other areas throughout New England, are doing very well. But the population on a whole is not. So we are actually going to be involved in a study starting in 2014, looking at this period of their life cycle, the staging and migrating period here at the seashore to understand what it could be. Could it be during the staging time or could it be in their wintering grounds? There's been a great deal of effort put into um, putting bands on these birds, color bands, so that you can read these bands. They're like bracelets on these birds. And, and that's where we're gaining such important information about the adult birds, where they're migrating to, and also the relationship between the adult birds and their young. We try to educate the public about the importance of giving them some space. I mean, just think about it, if you were sitting at the dinner table and the smoke alarm went off and you were told you had to get up and, and leave the house until the alarm went off and so the alarm goes off and you go back to eat your wonderful dinner and it goes off again. So if you just keep getting interrupted, you can imagine it must get somewhat frustrating. So if you see birds feeding in the intertidal zone, that area between high and low tide, uh, we ask you just to walk around them and also be aware there may be signs directing you to sections of the beach so that you can walk around these birds. But we also want to stress the importance of you guys coming and experiencing these migrating birds while they're here. What a wonderful opportunity uh, during a quieter time on the Cape to experience uh, such an amazing marathon event, the migration of birds, the terns, but also other species of shorebirds that use Cape Cod National Seashore.